okay, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Originals. Today we'll be watching episode 8 of season 3, The Other Girl in New Orleans. Let's crack on. <gasps> that was not nice. Okay, you and I need to have a little heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Come along. I am Aurora Dumatel, long lost love of Niklaus Michelson. He and I are having just a little bit of a spat at the moment as he took my brother captive. Now it's come to my attention that you are quite precious to him. <laughs> How should we proceed? Devastate his body, infiltrate the mind, and steal the information we need. To that end, I invited a friend. Bon appetit. <laughs> Aurora is upset with you. Might she just be leading you into a trap? Aurora has neither the means nor the will to harm me. So you say, yet she is a vindictive lunatic. Seriously, the actually, yes. The siblings would fall. One by foe, one by family, one by friend. It's rather odd you'd be his therapist. Isn't it true that Nick killed your beloved uncle right about here? Oh. Wow. Are you enjoying this? Oh, no. Bringing up the tragedies of my life. Do you get off on being cruel? Maybe I'm looking for the ways in which we are alike. And my latest diagnosis is bipolar disorder. I imagine with your credentials, you're familiar with it. And there have been great strides. Shut the... up, Kemi. I prefer not to be condescended to by someone who only just got her degree. You were once guardian to Davina Clare. And just as she's about to be recruited by a consortium of the most powerful vampires in the world, her status as regent is revoked, making her all but, you have to admit, that's quite a coincidence. I'll be forced to pluck those lovely almond eyes from your perfectly shaped skull. Almond eyes? Wow. I could watch this forever. If only my sister was entrapped. In the bottom of the ocean. Mm. What I do have is a weapon. One that can take down even an original. We will drive this stake into Elijah's heart. We will free Tristan and imprison the head of our sire line all in a single evening. Name's Mary. I'm a crescent. Closest thing your niece has to her great grandmother. Just fun with the in-laws. And Jackson's grandmother just sure up, which is her. very strange considering that he's out sulking in the bayou. Mm. Not that I can really blame him. I speak so that I might be listened to. Aurora clearly has some devious plan in mind. Which begs the question, given how vindictive she is, why bother playing her game? I'm not playing for her. People are not awful. They want to be good. Wow. Bit saccharine, no? Why don't you ask your boyfriend? You're feeling jealous. It seems as though you are, and yet you and Nicolas love it. If there's anything that Klaus likes about me, it's my mind that I can understand him. But maybe he does see the truth. That your mind, it's a bit damaged, isn't it? Ah, oh, so now Aurora has you attending church. Have you not had enough of her leading you on a leash like some lovesick imbecile? I cannot help but recall you with the arrogant wanker who endangered Camille in the first place. How better arrogant than foolish? All of your secrets and vulnerabilities can die with her. Stop the snake. Good one. I recommend you give me what I seek. Jesus. What happened? Why? What did you see? It just flashes. How long before the Strix decide to come get their guy? And if they destroyed half the quarter in the process... I can handle the Strix. Oh, you can't even handle Tristan. He's about to OD on Wolf Venom, and the only thing that you can get out of him is... is Cepheus. I can find out where Rebecca is and keep them from declaring war on the quarter if you trust me. I will me. not release that filth. After all the Michelsons took from you, you're still over there, playing right along like you was one of them. They're my family, Mary. We're Hope's family. And when you got married... Jack became your family. You're disappointed. They're my family. My blood. Such devotion. It is admirable. I wonder why does it not extend to your poor brother Finn? Don't let him get to you, Freya. Junior year of college. I was arrested for assault. 
battery. Ooh, fabulous. Now that's more like it. I saw him one night at a bar hitting on a freshman. So, I took a beer bottle and I smashed it in his face. And that's why you study psychology, to understand your own dark impulses. Here, I thought I was the shrink. <laughs> well, I see why Nick is so taken with you. My brother's internment, the insufferable influence of Elijah. But what I cannot overcome is your affections for someone else. I wanted Cammy to hear it. <laughs> Before I rip out her throat. I honestly I will kill you. I will I will come there and I will kill you. Mistaken belief that she is pure. And she tells you that people want to be good. But she's not quite the ray of unwavering sunshine that you believe her to be. <laughs> oh poor frail little thing. How sad you involved her in all of this. <laughs> Your sister got more of a fight. Okay. Okay, okay. Elijah. Oh, oh, sir. What is going on? What are you doing? I don't understand. Up. Your brother's gonna wake up mad at me. Of course. When he does, be sure to remind him who his friends are. Okay. Oh God, who is that? Tell me, can your pathetic Cammy excite you the way that I can? Can she allow you the joy of giving into your most wicked desires? She is a lunatic. All right. You're in transition. We say things to hurt each other when we're angry. That's what lovers do. But I know that I'm the one for you. And perhaps the dull realization that you <laughs> are nothing to me. Oh, got it. I need to remind you that because of your beloved hero, Tristan is free, Rebecca is lost. Not, not entirely. This prophecy threatens to devour us still. You were expecting something more? Yeah, you're damn right. Your deputy here came into my home, threatened me, gave me no choice but to declare war on the most dangerous vampires in the world. Now I'm a marked man. Come with us. Will you risk your life for those people? It ain't right. We all risk our lives, Mary. That's just the world that we live in. And maybe, but you go out of your way to help them. And every time you do, you're tempting fate. Including private airlines. One of them specializes in cargo jets. Now, according to Marcel, a vessel they fear the most has the code name Cepheus. Just make sure you leave Aurora to me. Sure thing, babes. If you ask me, Nicklaus is an utter fool. Always has been. Oh, please. Get over it. The man you assaulted. Yeah. I've already compelled some people to go and kill him. <laughs> That's a joke, right? It doesn't have to be. He will shift the earth for you, babe. That was ridiculously good. I loved it. Everything from um, the, 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 the dinner to, well, of course, you know, finding out that Aurora has Cammy, And then from there we got 
I mean, by, by dinner, I meant Thanksgiving dinner in the yes, in the previous episode to now with Cami being kidnapped by Aurora and then her, you know, explain what her deep, darkest secret is, why she, uh, you know, caught Niklaus's eyes and, you know, what is so special about her that Niklaus is so taken by and things like that. So it was a really good episode. Like these two episodes really well clashed and, you know, at the time where Marcel, for example, was like trying to be with the tricks, I like, you know, I understood. It's just like in that moment when you're trying to fight off so many things, so many things that are happening. I'm just like, Marcel, what are you doing? But then I realized in my mind, oh, OK, he, he's doing it for the tricks. I, well, I better hope he's doing it for uh, to get some in, you know, insider intel. But now we found out what Cepheus is. It's the one of the cargo jets that was used to transport uh, Rebecca from um, Marrakesh to uh, Miami. And in Miami now they have the, uh, what was it, the latitude or the longitude? I'm not sure, one of it. Um, and from there they were able to, they can like, you know, pinpoint the path and just uh, sort of figure out what X is. At least we know now it's in the States and it's in Miami. So we can, you know, move on from there. But that was ridiculously good. I really enjoyed this episode. And we can finally see how Aurora is like completely swooned by his, uh, by Klaus. And she desperately desires nothing but his love. And I guess she is like a broken soul without him. And now she's even more dangerous, which is why we need to keep an eye on her. And she doesn't have, like, you know, hurt anyone else. So... Or like you know Cammy has to be looked at and you know to be watched at all times and whatnot um but now at the end we saw uh what's her name Freya Freya's uh now gonna talk to Finn because of what she did to Finn um from you know the time in the cemetery when she released Finn from Vincent's body and whatnot but I guess, like, let's see what the conversation and or how the conversation will go. And we're getting to see a bit more of Finn, naturally. And uh, this is what I, I, if I have to pinpoint on how many times we've seen him, we've seen him, what, three or four times in, um, in the vampire show. Like, the first time was in Vampire Diaries, then, like, you know, a couple of times in the originals. So it's quite, like, good to see him coming back um, and... You know, in the form of, I guess you could say, like, a passing spirit talking to Freya. And then we can see what exactly happens. And um, the only thing that really pissed me off is, no jokes, Jackson. Like, I I mean, I understand where he's coming from, where he wants to protect Haley, And, you know, he wants to protect Hope. And he's trying his level best to make sure that... Haley is not mixed up in the drama. I understand, I agree, because, you know, that's what he's thinking about hope as well. Um, and that's always a safe option when it comes to the Michaelsons. But at the same time, he cannot expect her to sit around and wait for things to happen. Like, she can still, she has super hearing. When she hears Elijah, like, you know, somehow something's happening to him she will go no hesitation i mean even though they are married by like you know married by you know in uh, on paper i feel like she still also has feelings for elijah it's not just for uh jackson so you know it's not mostly it's it's also because you know as she said like for example rebecca kept hope safe for so many months of course, she needed to go and help her, help her out or find ways to help her out. And naturally, you know, with hope, she, no matter how much far, how further you run away or find different apartments in different cities and states, you can't deny her blood. She is a Michelson. She's a Michelson and she is a part of the pack. Like, I don't know what Haley's last name is. Marshall, is it? So um, she's a Michelson and she, let's say Marshall. So she's both clans. And when it comes to family, she has Michelson's blood in it. Who's to say that Haley doesn't end up like Klaus herself? Like she's like as stubborn and, you know, rageful as her father. So you should not deny that side of her. But at the same time, you know, definitely 
you know you have the best intentions but don't act out in like rage by going out to the bayou and what not like now it just makes no sense to you know put your personal feelings in, like in this matter i we get it but you know you are werewolves you are part of a pack and i know you have to like take care of your kind that's there but at the same time she is a michelson as well it's not just the werewolf so i wish that it would go to jackson's head a little bit and i feel like hayley now is also accepting the fact that she is a michelson and they'll always be a part of her life and she will not it's not that she's there at her beck and call she's doing it because you know it's just because she's not being she's a part of the family whether she like, agrees with it or not so that's something that i think they need to discuss about and jackson jackson should not uh you know worry about this in the future because this will happen more and more with hayley going and making sure that the michael not, not making sure michael since i say but whenever there is some problem for example say with klaus and what not you have to make sure that at least like if ever they need help you are there to help them like again it's not like you're there for their beck and call but because your family i'm pretty sure they know that so they went out of their way and depth even though yes klaus's ways in the second season to protect hope was a bit like you know extreme he still made sure he protects hope and the rest of the guys like everyone wants to protect hope so if you're saying for hope you should not fight for the michaels or get rambled up or mixed up in their fight it's not your fight and what not i think it's 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 completely a wrong statement everything that happens with them affects hayley and hope whether they like it or not and they should get used to this because this will happen more and more in the future so I just think that Jackson overact like he's not overreacting I would say he's just misunderstanding and it should get to his mind that this is going to happen like this will be a part of Haley's life whether you ex like it or not she will always be a part of the Michelson family that's all that's my uh, sort of take on that and yeah now Let's see if we can find Rebecca or get Rebecca in this uh, next episode and what's going to happen with um what's his name with uh, Lucien and uh, Aurora and Tristan I'm not sure they are now all the more reason motivated because they have like objects that they can use to you know um diminish the strength of um <coughs> of uh, the originals i'm sorry and um it's like that dark object that put uh, rebecca to sleep that's the same thing that could have like you know was sort of used on elijah and um you know he came back and what not so stuff like that it just uh, now they have to like sort of keep an eye out because now they have all the more reason to uh, attack with a bit more of cavalry on their end but um let's see how we get rebecca that's my main like you know main go to so i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for friends and family i'll see you in episode what is it eight yeah no nine Woo, nine bye guys